You know, at this point, I can spot a scam pretty easily, although uh, they try to mix them up more and more all the time. And this one was, uh, it, you know, when you get a really sketchy email in the beginning, it, it starts to raise some red flags, but I like to prod and poke in unassuming ways until I can kind of validate that that hunch. And so this is uh, something for you guys to be aware of out there because you could be getting a lot of this stuff if you own businesses too, and, and maybe you are. Uh, and unfortunately, they looped in a legitimate business into this scam as well. And so I reached out to them to let them know, and I'll, I'll follow up on that as well. So this guy's email was Brett Rager Matthew at Outlook.com. So if you see any emails come through from that guy or some combination of it, then then be aware. And he listed a 479, a 479 area code as his contact, and he said he's interested in my product, the latest tractor model. And so, you know, that, that's already kind of a, a really weird one. Anyway, but lots of times technology is goofy. I mean, I get autocorrect things that pop up, like, you know, and it's just, you don't even realize it half the time and weird things just happen. So anyway, I said, sure thing, how can I help you? He replies with a long email that he, uh, he wants to order um, the Coyote NX6010 tractor that I have for sale and gives me his billing and his shipping information, which is a legitimate company that's in Illinois um, called Allgrass Farms, and then uh, provides a different phone number starting with a 347 area code and wants to know the total cost and send him an invoice. And then he wants to pay by wire transfer. Again, just seems, seems weird, but uh, he's listed in Illinois. And so we can do farm use tax exemptions there. And so I said, okay, do you have a farm use tax exemption? Because I wanted him to provide some additional piece of documentation, kind of going through a step or uh, making some more effort to, to validate his identity. And uh, he said, yes, I do. <laughs> so I said, great, please send that over. Again, prompting him to get this sent over so that I can then work up that tax exempt uh, quote for him. And he replied that it's expired already. Yeah, so uh, inconvenient, you know, but uh, I said, okay, well, then we're gonna need to charge sales tax then if you can't provide it. He said, yes, that's correct. Well, very accommodating. I mean, doesn't really uh, get too upset either way. So then at that point, I was like, you know what, this, this certainly seems like a scam, but I'm just gonna take uh, the time here and give him a call. So first I call the 479 um, area code phone number that he listed originally and nobody picked up. And so then I called the 347 area code number that he put uh, with his billing information and nobody picked up there. And I said, I've tried calling you at both numbers provided, neither of them picked up and neither matched the number at Allgrass Farms, the company information that you provided. He says he's actually out of the office at the moment and obviously does not have a cell phone. Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. So anyway, then at that point, I mean, I, I, I had already known this was a scam, right? But then I reached out to all grass farms because I'm still trying to figure out the angle of what this scam is. And um, I, uh, the person I needed to talk to wasn't available then, so I followed up with an email and just forwarded them the whole email chain. And unfortunately, they have had the same thing happen to them over and over. They've been notified by multiple different people. And they're like, I, we can't figure out. And this company has like 4.8 stars with a bunch of reviews online. Um, I actually just drove by within probably 15 minutes of there on my way back from Iowa last week too. But um, looks like a, a, a great small business. Um, and they replied and said, we have no idea what's going on. We can't figure out what their angle is. The only thing that I can figure out is it really has nothing to do with their business at all. I think to their detriment, they have a nice, highly rated small business that's legitimate just kind of in farm country in the industry and this guy just found them and is using them to try to legitimize what he's doing and i think what he's actually trying to do is just get because he asked for wire information that's how he wanted to make payment so he's trying to glean my information as much as he can from that so he already has my business location he's got my name he's got my business name he's got the address um phone number if he can get 
bank account information, you know, routing numbers and, and, and checking account numbers and everything else, well, then that's making it his life a lot easier. And it really has nothing to do with that end user. And so anyways, um, this actually happened over the weekend. So I still need to uh, report this to the authorities, but I've had this happen time and time again. I've had it happen with actually companies that I do business with where somehow somebody has been hacked and they're trying to pretend that they are the company I do business with and they're sending me all these bills that are overdue, that are fake and that I need to pay them immediately or they're going to stop sending me new orders and stuff like that. So, you know, very, I don't know, very weird stuff. Or maybe they just, they, maybe nobody's even been hacked, right? Maybe they just see that I do business with these companies online. And so they're just trying to, to make that correlation there and then prompt me to send them a bunch of money for random things that they make up. I don't know. The point being is that there are scams all the time out there and that if something smells a little off, you know, whether you're, you're in business or if it's just something personal that folks are asking for information from you for, if you're not comfortable with it, find ways for them to validate who they are, what they're calling about. Don't give out your information without them, you being 100% sure that they are who they say that they are. So anyway, little uh, PSA there for you folks and something that I have to deal with on a regular basis. and. You know, I, I don't know if I ever would have been scammed by that, but um, there is a chance that I can see a long time ago that I would have potentially sent out some personal information that I probably shouldn't have, and uh, that could have gone downhill for me. So on that note, what? So on that note, if you're in the market for a tractor or tractor attachments, well, we would love to help you out. If we can help you pick the right size or the right tractor or the whole tractor package, just shoot us an email at Good Works Tractors and we can set everything up for you. We ship all over the country too. I wanna to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe, we'll see you soon.